so welcome to our first guest, Nicole Grevy, actor and writer and blob enthusiast, correct? <laughs> I mean, is that is that a good title for you, Nicole? Very much. Blob devotee. Uh, Nicole, can you tell us your life in, in the blob? Please? I can. I, my blob obsession is because it was um, the very first horror movie I ever saw when I was five. And um, it was planned by my father, who loved horror films. And, you know, way back then, you would go flipping through the TV guide, looking mm -hmm. for Saturday afternoon spookies. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I remember he was actually actively searching for the blob. And the day that it finally came up, we went, I sat on his lap, and we watched that movie. And, you know, that theme that I think Burt Bacharach helped uh, write um, started. Oh. Burt Bacharach. That great theme. <laughs> 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 you broke Caroline's heart. What right? do you get when you fall in love? Okay. Totally. And the blob, and you can hear the, I think you can hear the roots of that in the theme to the blob. Beware of the blob is <laughs> and leaps. Um, but so, yeah, but so that was where the blob came from for us. And what I didn't know is it actually filmed not too far from where I grew up. Um, this picture behind me is the model that they used in the movie, uh, but the actual theater that the blob goes into still exists today. And every year, the town where it is does a huge blob fest. I mean, this year it was virtual, but they do it every year. And they will actually stage a big screaming run out of the theater where the town's people and anyone who signs up will go screaming out of the theater like in the movie. It's hilarious. As a parent, I just, I, I just want to give a shout out. I love your father because uh, I showed my son. My son, if, if you ask Diego what is his favorite movie, he will yeah. say Enter the Dragon <gasps> because I raised him right. Absolutely. Right? These are the things you have to show a child. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, at least you can outrun the block. Can we talk about, about the predator so we can do the would you rather? The headline, this rat covers itself with poison that can take out an elephant. Seemingly unassuming, and then it kills you. Like, I, I read that article too, and I started thinking about it and it's doing it as a defense right it's doing it so that predators won't eat it and That's what true. it made me think of was arnold schwarzenegger covering himself in that mud guys this is such an 80s testosterone fest but i went back and watched it again and the one woman character in it is mm -hmm. You know, she's she's really interesting to me because she's not she's not sexualized in any way in the film. Nope. She's not objectified nope. by the camera at all. And so that started me thinking because I had commented to to Todd, my husband, while I was watching it. I said, you know, it's kind of fun watching Arnold Schwarzenegger be the final girl in a movie because he really is. He's the final <laughs> girl. And so I went and Googled and you can, in fact, on the Internet, find sites devoted to all of the kills in all of the Predator films, uh, these things that exist because God bless mm -hmm. the Internet. Mm -hmm. And the only time a predator, not a predalien, like I'm not talking predator, the alien. Right, what's Sanaa Lathan, it. by the way, just shout out to Sanaa. Yeah, um, uh, I actually, I love, I love Predator versus Alien. Like I love that film. But the only time a predator has actually killed women was in the second Predator film. And it, I think it was like more collateral damage. You know, the predator is a little bit of a chauvinist. And so for me personally, if I am looking Wait at- Wait a minute, being a chauvinist? Wouldn't you want a chauvinist predator as a woman? As I mean, a woman, I would. And that's why okay, good. I'm just making I sure. would opt for the predator because mm -hmm. I would, I am wagering mm -hmm. on my double X chromosome and the predator chauvinism in the case of survival being an advantage. Like, you know, he's going to look at me and be like, yeah, she only makes 73 cents to the guy's dollar. It's not worth the trouble. I came up with, I came up with the same conclusion, but from a different angle. So oh, I cool. too, surprisingly, Bruce, I bet you're surprised. We take I am. On this one because I live in Florida, which is the land of sinkholes and the land of crazy government. And if mm. anyone is going to turn the sinkholes into some other means of killing people, because we can already kill people who come to our homes. We can already kill people now by car if you feel threatened. Um, and now- Oh, you mean you're allowed? Yeah. <laughs> in Florida. In Florida. Right. Yeah, there's a right. bill. I don't know if it's passed yet, but it, they're pushing it through. And so now- death by sinkhole, you know, that just seems mm -hmm. like it would be a thing. And there are a lot of sinkholes in Florida, but there are really? lots of guns and weapons. And I mm -hmm. feel like if predator came here, there would be a lot of the Florida man. I think if yeah. I were in New York, then I would be thinking about, maybe I'd think different. Although no, the streets in New York are a mess too. Bruce, you were mm -hmm. going blob. 
even with the sinkhole issue? Well, I don't know. Your 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 points are so good. Um, uh, yeah, I think uh, there's no way I want to go after a, a predator. Like I, I don't want a predator chasing me. Uh, I don't I don't think there's any chance of Bruce surviving a predator attack. Whereas there's a chance of getting away from the blob, uh, just like I could run and get away far enough. Now there might be another blob in the next sinkhole because they're all over here, I guess as well. But uh, I think I'd last longer with the blob. How about that? I'm, I'm going blob just on the time that yeah. it takes. Yeah. And, and that's a good point you bring up about the time it takes because yeah. like the other thing with the blob is as it keeps getting more victims, it just gets bigger and bigger and then it's harder to get away from. Oh, wait a minute, no. I forgot just, about it that. Take, like it'll take out anything. Like I, I you know, it'll take a, a kitten, it'll take a puppy, it'll take a man, oh. woman, good guy, bad guy. It's but like, then it gets bigger each time, I forgot that part. And Manhattan's an island, so yeah. you're gonna run out of space. And it is like, right. yeah, it is like COVID-19 or global warming, you know, it just keeps coming and yeah. it does not discriminate for who it goes after. That's cherry. Whereas Predator, will not go after you and i'm I, I i'm not a you know a trophy kill um i'm safe just because uh i'm fat and don't have a gun yeah, uh put so, your spine up on his wall i don't you know what i mean like you take home the skull of bruce and show off your friends <laughs> i think that, yeah yeah Good decision i'll take it me too yeah. Uh, Nicole, uh, before we go, tell us about your kid. What, what's the kid doing? This is amazing. Um, Griffin, my son also acts and uh, is in season one of Raising Dion on Netflix, um, playing Brayden. And- uh, Speak on it, Nicole. She wanted to, to talk up. Um, I am a writer, producer, and a voice on a sci-fi horror comedy podcast, Uncanny County. Um, we are in the throes of pre-production for season three, but season one and two are available for free wherever you listen to podcasts. And uh, I would say it's like a Southwestern Twilight Zone, uh, but there's plenty of homages to a lot of classic horror in it. And uh, it's, it's, you know, I think it's a lot of fun. I'm biased, obviously, but we have won uh, numerous Parsec Awards and numerous Audioverse Awards. And uh, I, I highly recommend it. And not just because I work on it. Yeah, cool. Seriously, this was so much fun. Um, well, it's so we, nice we, meeting you. Oh, likewise. And it's just, it's also nice, honestly, to meet other women who are horror geeks because, especially growing up, like that was not stick you know. together. Yeah.